Uh, I, I generally, when I start, I guess my concept is I still like to see the band in front right. of me. I still like to feel like the band is in front of me. But I do like pull the bass into the room a little bit. I like to put a little bit of bleed from the drum, a little bit of ambience of the drum. If I have discrete room mics, I'll put them back there or uh, make some artificial room mics back here. I like the singer to be in front of me. Front and center. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have heard like that Beck mix. Where oh, yeah, where the voices in, in the, the back. And yeah. It's, it's great. It's kind of fun. Yeah. It's fun, yeah. But I mean, for me, it's like the here's the band, you know, guitar left, guitar right, bass, drums, um, especially with this uh, band. So I, I try to set the stage of the drums here, and I but I pull the bass a little bit into the room, and then I, you know, I love, like I said, I love acoustic guitars. Left and right. Left and right. But if I find if I put electric guitars over there, and maybe sometimes it's too much, so yeah. I try and keep them a little more. Yeah. For, or or you can go above you yeah. and fill out the space above you with the electric guitars because they're not so like in, right in your ear holes. <laughs> right. I guess it's personal taste. And like I was talking to you earlier about some of the more modern music where there's way more tracks because yes. it wasn't ever. This was recorded on the analog tape, so there's you right. know, it was a 24 track. So it's a smaller session, but some of the more modern stuff where you have a hundred tracks, there's enough information where you can discreetly put uh, objects around the room and fill up the entire space with programmed synthesizers yes. and have your plucks behind you and stuff. And it's amazing. Yeah, uh, it really works great. 